Hello and welcome to Beauty as Past TV. And uh, welcome, Samir Modi. Um, uh, we are very happy and honored to have you with us again. And uh, we are, uh, you know, right uh, at the end of the Pride Month. And but we wanted to do this, and uh, I, I believe that uh, Kalabar has some initiatives, uh, you know, in the support of the LGBTQIA community. And uh, so we would like to hear about that initiative from you today. Thank you, Ritu, for having me here. Um, at Kalabar, we are we believe in gender inclusivity, mm -hmm. and therefore we giving more and more focus to that. Uh, I think the community. Uh, brings a lot of uh, credibility, a uh, lot of, uh, what do you call it, innovation, a uh, lot of creativity uh, to the kind of business we are in. And I, and I believe truly that it doesn't matter what your status is. It, it matters who you are. And therefore, it's every individual's need to, uh, to support and encourage, or in, not even support, encourage, but accept who we are, what our preference is, it doesn't matter. After all, uh, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm of the belief and, and Kalabar is the belief of all about inclusion. Right. And therefore, this is a big initiative and a change uh, in culture mm -hmm. that I'm driving. Mm -hmm. And uh, including, we, we, we actually have a lot of, lot of employees from the community sure. uh, and Therefore, we actually make no uh, make no uh, uh, difference or any any biasness uh, for hiring, and but we want more and more people uh, to to come aboard, and we also have a very large uh, uh, women based organization. Since yeah. we are the makeup business, I think we are eighty percent women, and yeah. therefore uh, you know there, there are things that we think differently. And my concept of soj badlo, kutko badlo, dunya badlo is again about really about about exception and uh, moving forward uh, with the entire world. Right. That is uh, really what uh, me and Kalabar are doing uh, as a brand, as an organization, in terms of this uh, gender inclusiveness, gender diversity. Uh, that is, I would say, very unique to us. Uh, that got us to get the GPW award last year, and we have been selected this year as well, just because we do th things differently. Right. So, um, what's the if we were to say what's the measure of this progress? How do you, you how do you measure the progress when it comes to, you know, uh, say inclusivity? Because we are in times where, you know, there's a lot of uh, um, contradiction in. Um, in this world where, you know, on the one side that it's more, you know, push for inclusivity and on the other hand, you know, there is a lot of discrimination happening on the basis of various, you know, uh, uh, well, the, well, there are two parts to it. Uh, first part is really at the storefront. Right. Uh, there, I, I would say we have a uh, few people. I would not be able to say how many people we have. Uh, maybe I can look it up, but it's, uh, the main idea really is as long as you're a good makeup artist, we don't care. It, it, uh, it, is, it is all your sin. Uh, as far as our work culture and HR policies are concerned, this is something we're driving hard. So we have actually changed our HR policy to, uh, to suit. And one of the key initiatives by HR is to get more and more people mm -hmm. from the community to work with us. Mm -hmm. So there are two major things that I can I can say. Probably if you ask me the question a year from now, saying, Samir, how many people do you have? Uh, I could give you a number. But the reason I don't have a number, mm -hmm. simply because it's not something that, in my mind, there's a difference. In my mind, you're equal. Uh, you ha you, you, we are hiring you for your skills and what you bring. We're not hiring you for, for your preference. Right. That's amazing. So uh, while we are at it, Samir, I would like a quick recap of what's happening at Kalabar, which you would like to uh, tell us. What's new? Uh, well, Kalabar is uh, changing as an organization. Uh, we're changing as an ethos. We're changing about how we do things, what we do, and why we do it. Uh, if I go from the storefront, we're changing our store look and feel. 
we changing what a beauty was look at uh, we changing our policies uh, we that is one part uh, as far as product is concerned more and more products are being are being bought in uh, though yes there is a global crisis for supply and therefore our plans are getting delayed from the launch because the manufacturer is not able to give us and majority products come from germany italy and france and therefore it uh, it becomes a challenge uh, in in that but we have now changed the com- complete ethos of kalabar um, where we feel that every person it doesn't matter what gender you are has the right to look the best they can and that's magic Correct. when you stand in front of the mirror what do you look if you look great if you think you look great it's a great day if you think you had a bad hair day it's a very bad day so our goal is to remove the bad hair days and add them with good hair good uh, hair days awesome so that on one point that is what's happening uh, we are getting more and more international we are launching in the uk uh, next week uh, we are in malaysia we in dubai we are in turkey uh, we are in sri lanka we are in, in mauritius uh, we are in uh, uh, in canada so we are actually moving global because yeah. i think that our brand is again uh, large enough broad enough deep enough to take all communities oh that's awesome so uh, uh, i understand that you know you pushed towards the omni channel uh, post uh, uh, you know the experience of covid so where are we at when it comes to your uh, retail and distribution right now well uh, we we weren't strong uh, in d2c Uh, we have been uh, pushing and gaining gaining momentum in the marketplace yeah uh, so predominantly now this year about 30% of our business comes from marketplace uh, d2c we just started so as you know that the d2c burn is high and the growth is slow right uh, and also i i don't believe today that in the in our industry that anything called d2c because in our, in our industry the way is being driven right now discount to customer it's yeah. not direct to customer and i don't want to play the discount game because that diminishes the entire proposition that we give right. and being a uh, a foreign made product which is same as the mac bobby brown nars pat mcgrath urban decay uh, same formulation uh, with lower cost it doesn't allow us to have enough uh what do you call it uh, bandwidth to go uh, d to c and i believe the brand should have the right ethos and you know? don't should not be a discounted brand right and if you don't have customer pull without discount there's no point having customer pull after discount right okay that makes a lot of sense so thank you for that that's uh, uh, that's all uh, that we want to know today and uh, now i will uh, see you soon um with your other initiatives and we always are eager to hear from you and thank you so much samir thank you ritu for having me on it's been a pleasure all the pleasure to talk to you although you've been missing in action i hope that we are able to catch up soon absolutely thank you